There are a ton of different data sources out there, so much so that it can actually get a little bit overwhelming. For this exact reason, me and a former business partner put together a data source map. Now this was a couple years ago when I was partnered with a fractional CEO and we were working on consulting projects where we would come into a new organization and help the owner or the president find their problems and solve them. I helped supercharge that process through data analysis. And what we came up with was this data source map to help communicate to the president or owner what is the value of actually analyzing different data sources. I've used this same model and framework to actually build out the case study for this course. Also, the case study example files follow the same framework that I'm going to lay out in this data source map video. So there are two different types of data sources. There are internal and external data sources within our data source map. And it comes down to the question, does my organization actually create this data? If the answer is yes, then it's an internal data source. Now, if the answer is no, it's an external data source. So now we've talked through the different types of data sources, let's dig into our internal data source types. So the first data source type is our sales data source. And I'd argue that this is the most important data source that you can analyze because this is really where the rubber meets the road in terms of your organization. Because you can identify which of your products or your accessories or your categories are really getting a lot of traction out in the marketplace. And if sales are high, that means that your product market fit is a good fit. And it means that that's really where you should be focusing a lot of your time and energy. Now, if product is not selling well, then it doesn't really make sense to spend a lot of money on marketing that product. Which brings us to our second data source, which is marketing data. Your marketing data, in theory, should closely mirror your sales data. The idea is that you want to be actually marketing the products that are selling well. Now, there are situations when you come out with a new product and there aren't a lot of sales in the pipeline. Well, that's understandable and that's a bit of a different situation than having a product out on the market for years and it never really picking up traction. Another data source that can really help improve your marketing is psychographic data. Psychographic data deals with how do people feel about our product? Do they like the overall look and feel or are there certain functions that don't really work? If you put together an effective survey, you can really suss out the strengths and the weaknesses of your products. You can take those strengths and use it front and center in your ad copy. Or on the flip side, if something isn't performing well, you can take that back to your supply chain team and say, hey guys, we need to fix this issue. Next, we have our cost data. And this is pretty intuitive. You need to understand where your costs are coming from. Now, costs typically break down into two different types of costs. We have our overhead and we have our variable. And one of the things that's really cool about this data source map is that you can combine different data sources together to come up with some interesting insight. So you can combine your cost data with your sales data to calculate margin. And here, we can take that process of trying to market our high selling products a step even further. So not only do we want a high selling product, but we also want to promote a product that has a high margin that is also selling well. So that's just a little example of the sophistication that you can start to develop when you start combining your multiple data sources together. That covers the internal data sources. Now let's move on to external data sources. So one of them that we didn't mention in the map, but is very common, is just market trend data. And you can buy that from different organizations where their whole company model is just aggregating data so that you can capitalize on emerging trends. But what I really wanted to talk about is competitive intelligence. So here you can open up so many opportunities to really make more money per each sale. So understanding your competitors and where you sit in position to them can really affect your strategy in terms of pricing. So that wraps up the data source map. There are so many different data sources you can choose from, 
but I thought I would put it into a framework that really makes sense from my perspective. I'll see you guys.